And we have such a good show tonight, such a fantastic show. Man, <coughs> that's Super Bowl. I am I born and raised in Boston, and so when the Super Bowl happened on uh, uh, after Sunday night, when it happened, I got on the phone, and I was calling everybody I ever grew up with, my family, just because Boston, you have to understand, we don't get a lot of championship teams coming our way that often. <laughs> It doesn't happen every other day. I think our last title was the 1969 Lacrosse Championship. <laughs> we really dominate. Um, no, I think it was 86, the Celtics. The 86 mm -hmm. Celtics was the last time. So I was calling up everybody I know in Boston, and they all said the same thing. It's awesome! It's so awesome! <laughs> over and over again. I was calling them on different lines and putting the phones next to each Awesome! Yeah, awesome! <laughs> awesome! 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 <laughs> One guy said, wicked. <laughs> I got six wickeds and 15 awesomes. <laughs> anyway, it was very exciting. And I got to say, uh, like a lot of you, I went to a big Super Bowl party. I went to a Super Bowl, okay, that was great. Uh, <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? Mm -mm, we went to a chess party. <laughs> uh, no. I had a big, went to a big, big Super Bowl party. Uh, it was really fun. I went with my two good buddies, Max Weinberg and our announcer, Joel Goddard. The three of us had a pretty cool Super Bowl party, and we took pictures. And ladies and gentlemen, Monday, I came in, and I went to one of those 24-hour photo mats. I hear there are one-hour ones, but I can't. I don't have that kind of money. Um, <laughs> takes a lot of scratch, and I'm on at 1230. I went to one of those places and the photos came back from our amazing Super Bowl party and I thought maybe I'd share these. You wanna see these? I thought, I thought. These are good. All right. Thank you, applause sign. All right, uh, here we go. Here we go. No, these are great photos. First of all, the first photo is uh, me and Max arriving at Joel's house. Joel was having a big Super Bowl party and uh, so we arrived, we just pushed our way in the door, and I'm like, hello. And uh, now I was rooting for the Patriots, okay? Max was pulling for the Rams. He wanted the Rams to win. And since it was the Super Bowl, Joel decided to root for Superman. That was his decision, which I thought was really odd, odd thinking man, him. And anyway, I pretended to think that Joel's outfit was cool. Um, but Max laughed at Joel and called him a nerd. Joel tried to keep a stiff upper lip, but then started crying uncontrollably. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't stop. Max apologized and admitted he was just jealous of Joel's costume. So Joel perked up, realizing he had another superhero costume for Max. And it was a perfect fit. It just was wonderful. And we were uh, ready to go. Yeah. He always keeps a Supergirl outfit handy. Well, anyway, once Max put on the outfit, we were ready to watch the game. Yes, that's how we high five. First, Joel went to get some of his special Super Bowl snacks. He served some nachos in a helmet, black bean dip in a cleat, and of course, his specialty, guacamole in his old athletic cup. And uh, I gotta tell you folks, that was some awesome guac. It really was. It was just terrific. Wow. Spicy. Um, then Joel realized it was almost time for kickoff, okay? And we verified it by all looking at his watch <laughs> like a bunch of idiots. Now, Joel's television was pretty lame, I gotta say. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we made the best of it. That's all you can do. We made the best of it. And we watched, we watched as Mariah Carey sang the national anthem. Yeah. Now, if Joel and I weren't too fond of Mariah Carey singing. <laughs> but Max was moved to tears. He absolutely loved it. And just in time, the game started, we got underway. Max got so excited about the kickoff that he kicked me in the face accidentally. Yeah. So I was, uh, 
I was unconscious for most of the first half. <laughs> Luckily, I came to right before the halftime show. I woke up. Uh -huh. But uh, this is interesting. Instead of watching the Super Bowl halftime show, we decided to put on our own halftime show. Yeah, that's the way. Let's do it. So Max did a Bob Fosse dance retrospective. Joel did his famous salute to insects. And uh, he has a lot of costumes around. It's like the Gilligan's Island gang. And, uh, and I did my rendition of Casey at the Bat, which always is a corker. Anyway, when we turned the game back on, the cheerleaders had taken the field. So uh, Max tried to sneak a peek under their skirts. That's just what he does. He doesn't understand how a TV works. While he was doing that, I decided to start a drinking game. I just like a drinking game, yeah. Here's how it works. All right. Yay, alcohol, yeah. No, wait, wait, yeah, this is how the drinking game worked. I decided to take a drink every time the Rams threw a pass. <laughs> I, uh, I also had to take a drink whenever the Patriots threw a pass. <laughs> As you can imagine, this got me pretty drunk and rowdy in no time. <laughs> yeah. Just feeling no pain. There I am saying awesome. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Huh? I get shocked when I'm in drunk. It was Joel's neighbor coming over to complain about the noise, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> you get a lot of big celebrities on this show. Why do you look incredulous? Anyway, I told Nicolas Cage, I really lit into him. I told him, I told him he hadn't done any good work since leaving Las Vegas. So he punched me. Then he punched me again. <laughs> then he agreed with me. <laughs> Finally, it was time for the Patriots to try their last <laughs> second field goal. I'm telling you, that really is Nicolas Cage there. He's just, he's a he's very limited range as an actor. I kept telling him at the photo shoot, loosen up. And he's like, all right. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. Man, I'm not working with him again. Anyway, finally it was time for the Patriots to try their last second field goal. And it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Cage was electrified. So I did my patented victory dance. Joel made his Star Trek doll indicate that the kick was good. That's how he celebrates. <laughs> And then Nicolas Cage started hitting on Max because he thought he was a woman. And, uh, and folks, yeah. Well, as you can imagine, it turned out this was the best Super Bowl party ever. It really was a good time. Those are the good pictures. Yeah. Really good time. Max got lucky. All right. Uh, <laughs> We're going to take a little break. Big show tonight. When we come back, Roseanne Barr is joining us. <laughs>